Lonnie and Sherry are sisters. Both their mother and grandmother had breast cancer when quite young. Both sisters decided to be tested for mutations of the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes. Mutations are changes in a gene that keep it from working properly. Changes in the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes are linked to a small number of breast and ovarian cancer cases. Your lifetime risk of developing one of these cancers increases greatly if you have one of these altered genes. A genetic counselor would only recommend testing if several generations of your family had these cancers at an early age or if a family member had the mutation. Let's hear how Lonnie and Sherry dealt with the results of their tests with assistance from a genetic counselor. There are three girls in the family. I'm the oldest, uh, Lonnie's the middle, and we have a younger sister too. Lonnie and I both always thought that at least one of us would probably get cancer. My grandmother died in her early 40s, probably about 41. My mother died at 44 of breast cancer. Basically, all the women in the family, they've all died of cancer in their 40s. Sherry, it's Lonnie. How are you doing today? I remember Lonnie calling me on my 44th birthday and saying, you know, you made it. And on my 45th birthday, thinking, I'm now living the longest of any of the females in this side of the family. And then I turned 46, and then shortly after that was when I found out I had the ovarian cancer. From what I had read and learned, I suspected that it was related to my mother's breast cancer. But the only way to be sure was to get involved in the testing. Well, you probably know that I, it was not a big surprise to me um, that, that my results were positive. I think I've probably believed that all along. and. Mm. I also feel a sense of relief, in a way, knowing that now I have a reason, and a concrete reason, that this is what happened to me, this is why it happened to me, it's why it happened to my mother and my grandmother and my cousin, and that there's nothing any of us probably could have done to change it. I went in about uh, three weeks ago. I'd had a lot of time to get ready. I obviously wouldn't have done the testing if I hadn't been ready for the results anyway, but I wanted to be really ready. Lonnie called me right after she got her test results and told me that they were negative, and I was excited for her, happy for her. Later, it sort of sunk in that I was mostly happy for her, and there was a part of me that was, I guess, sorry for myself or sad for myself or I mean, I guess it, you could say it was unfair, but there's nothing about it that's fair anyway. So. Have you felt differently than you anticipated feeling since you've gotten your results? I really thought I would, um, the main thing is I thought I would feel so overjoyed and I would want to tell everybody in the world. Mm -hmm. And and I may, but I, but I don't right now. And I don't understand that because they're great results. I should be really happy and that should be it and it should be very simple, but it hasn't been simple and I, I don't fully understand that. I guess it's survivor's guilt. It would be the same kind of thing of, I feel like I'm kind of out here on my own, not in the same place as my sister. When we give results to somebody that they've, quote, been spared in the family, um, they may feel tremendous relief and ecstasy, but it's short-lived because what happens quickly after that is, why was I spared and everybody else in my family, my sister, my mother, weren't? These are results within a family. Um, they don't stand alone. One of the things I've learned is that genetic testing involves the whole family. As a counselor, I often find myself helping people juggle complex and conflicting feelings about their test results or those of a relative. And then once people know the results, they have to decide what to do, and they make very different decisions. For example, one person who finds out they have an altered BRCA1 or BRCA2 gene might make lifestyle changes to lower their risk. Another might seek out medical treatment, such as preventive surgery. Lonnie and Sherry's case shows how tricky this testing process could be for siblings. What if your sister or brother had an altered gene that indicated an increased health risk and you didn't, or the other way around? How would you feel? 